the 10-day Presence Immersive Happening with Maharishi Kapriti will take place in Goa from December 24, 2024 to January 2, 2025. For more information and to register, click the link in the description below. My name is Milena and I want to know how I can liberate myself uh, from angry because sometimes I feel angry without reasons. How I can do to not be angry, not feel angry. If you look at anger like a sort of an electromagnetic wave that is universal in nature, moving around everywhere, created by those who got angry and your system as something which doesn't want anymore to allow that to take over. If you try to look at it that way, it's just a way of perception. You train yourself to know just before it's starting to take over and deflect it. You know what I mean by that? Like to say no. You enjoy to be angry, no? <laughs> Maybe. It's very, very exciting. Because the ego wants to take that wave over and use it to make you toe the line, to weaken you and to make you bend down to its commands, you know? So it'll tell you, be nasty to this person. The ego wants to cause distress to the system because then you have to consume something in order to quiet that distress. It's very simple. The ego is a creation, it's not yours. So if you try to even look at anger simply as a matter of perception, as something which is not yours, but which is trying to take over your system because you're porous, because you're not in surrender. If you go into surrender, you become... What's the opposite of porous? Dicht. Dicht in German, what is the English word for dicht? Impervious, not allowing something to come through. As you go into surrender to the truth, you become impervious to, the, to, the, to these waves that are trying to take over the system, which is ego actually. So, that surrender process is very important in this. And to know in advance, oh, I'm getting, I'm feeling that anger is coming. Instead of embracing the anger and feeding it and dressing it up, putting on its pampers and putting it in a chair and looking at it and feeding it more, you... you. But the question is, do you want the anger? Do you love it? People say it's good to be angry, to let it all out, you know, to let that anger also express itself. But the thing is that when the anger expresses itself, when you allow it to do that, it weakens the cellular nature of... it weakens the cells of the body, materially weakens them, and you feed the ego, you allow it to grow. So any expression of anger, allowing it to happen, is giving the ego space. So, if you can recognize that wave before it comes and deflect it and say, no, there will not be anger expressed by this system, you're already stronger because the cells are not shaken by that anger, weakened. It's a decision. You know how you strengthen up in this decision? By asking for the for surrender to that soul, because that immediately, instantly, instantly the anger is gone, because it's the ego. If you give in to it, it's going to take more and more charge of your system. 
But if you make the system impervious rather than porous, you make it coherent and contoured by being present, not by going into long hours of meditation and, and, and not even into too much of self-inquiry, because immediately it starts to become porous. Don't give in to anger, it's not something to be proud about, it's actually destructing the very material base of the body itself, you know. If one knew what it's actually doing, you would just not allow yourself to get angry even for a second, really. It's possible to be in a state where no anger happens. I wish... It's very possible, it's really not that far away. People think it's impossible and... But it is possible, there are many, many people who actually don't experience anger, who know that it's coming and they know that it's harming the system and they go into surrender and then it moves away. It's not like just some enlightened being sitting in a cave who have that experience, there are many who have that experience, who practice the practice of surrender, samarpan, bend, and then instantly it's gone, instantly. Instead of observing it, oh, this is the anger, let it sit, it is not me. You're feeling that anger as you're observing it and letting it sit and declaring that it's not you, you're feeding it because you're empowering it, because you're giving it attention. It's not the way to go with that, it's to actually deflect it by experiencing surrender in the Self, surrender, sweet surrender. Thank you. Angie, and then you. Invited to a live online satsang with Maharishi Kapriti this Sunday. To know more, click the link in the description below.